So it seems like you guys really enjoyed the last Mario 64 BLJ video. In case you missed it, what I basically did was I tried to do BLJs with 15 really stupid controllers or just really obscure ones. So let's do it again, but with 10 more controllers. Now I know it's less, but the thing is I'm starting to run out of ideas for controllers that I feel like would be interesting. So anyway, with all that said, let's get started. Now this isn't really a stupid controller per se, but I figured we start basic with the SNES. So I figure we start with something a little bit basic. We have just, you know, a classic SNES controller. Uh, D-pad's gonna be for moving around, of course. The B button will be for jumping, and then I've assigned the L button for crouching. Now, I don't imagine this one's gonna be too uncomfortable. Using the D-pads aren't really the greatest thing for a game like Mario 64, but it does work, it does the job. So let's see how this goes. All right, oof, mashing is a little hard, actually. <laughs> oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, mash, Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Is that enough? That wasn't enough! Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. Holy crap. Come on. Yes! Yes! What? I had two close ones. I had two close attempts. Oh, by the way, if I'm not... I'm not looking directly at you because I'm running Mario 64 on another PC. And that's because my desktop has Bluetooth problems. It doesn't actually have it. And there's a lot of setups where I need Bluetooth to get these controls to work. So for... Anyway, that doesn't really matter. Those are just technical things that don't matter to you. Let's just get the BLJ. Come on. There we go! <laughs> what? Alright, we went to Wet Dry World, so... There you go, we got the BLJ with a SNES controller. Really wasn't that hard. Next, we've got the Guitar Hero controller. So for the Guitar Hero controller, we've got a fairly simple setup. What we'll be doing is using the strum bar up to go up, push down to go down, the green button is to jump, and then the red button is the Z button, or crouching, or to perform the long jump. Uh, so I know that this will probably be possible because Simple Flips actually... How much of the game did he play? He played either 16 stars or 70 stars of this a couple years ago with a Guitar Hero controller. With that said, I don't know what his inputs were. I don't know if they're the same as mine. I feel like they're probably different because I have no way of moving left and right. So let's see how this goes. Oh, okay, here we go. Ah, oh, okay, that might actually work. Yes. Yes, no. Okay, that- it's actually really painful. I don't- the way that I'm doing it is I'm like kind of squishing my elbow into the controller and it really hurts. Ah, this- this is so hard. <gasps> oh, I keep getting so close! This is kind of cool too. Just doing this. Woo! Look at him go! Okay. Get the stupid BLJ. Oh my god, why does that keep happening? I get- I get really good speed, I get the right angle, and then he just stops. Come on! That's like four times in a row, where I get it down and then he gives up. Guys, I-, I a lot of this was cut out. It took me over 20 minutes to do that. And, I, you know what's weird? Like, I'm not- I'm not even satisfied. Like, I don't know why it worked that time. I was doing the exact same thing every single time. I don't know, whatever. Let's move on to the next controller. Oh boy. It's time for the Ouya. Now, before we get into the Ouya game controller, I just want to talk about how pretentious the box is, because I actually got a, uh, I guess a brand new Ouya controller that was never used before. Let's talk about this. Alright, we have... Free the games, just kind of uh, chilling in the corner. Apparently, Ouya is going to free the games. Every hero needs a sidekick. So this is this was supposed to be like you know the the console that was it wasn't going to be very big. They already knew that, but everyone thought they were like the underrated underdog. But uh, okay, I'm really hoping that I do this quickly because uh, this controller is absolute garbage. But I have a feeling I'm going to have trouble pushing up and holding up while we're doing this. But Please be first try. Please be first try. Thank God. Thank God that's over. Okay. <laughs> I spent more time talking about how bad the controller is than actually doing the BLJ. Thank God I never have to touch this thing again. So this ought to be fun. PS2 Chainsaw Controller. This is by far probably the coolest controller that I have. So this was made, of course, for Resident Evil 4, as you can see here. My inputs is uh, I've got X map to jumping. Uh, I've got the D-pad mapped to moving around. I figured it'd be a little bit harder than just using, like, the joystick. And then way back here, there's a button that you- there's actually- you can use, and uh, I've got that mapped to crouching. 
Now, this one, I'm, I'm a little curious. I don't think it'll be that hard to do. Going straight is a little tricky. Ooh, okay. Uh, long jumps kind of feels weird to do. All right. Oh my god, it's so loud. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh my, what the heck? Holy crap. So we just went to Wet Dry World. Um, again, you know, you already saw this earlier. This does count as a BLJ. Um, yeah, there we go. First try. And up next, we have the 8-Bit Do Light Controller. This is by far one of the weirdest controllers I've ever seen in my life. The 8-Bit Do Light Controller, it has two D-pads. That's right, it's taking homage from the uh, Virtual Boy controller. So, I don't think this one will be too complicated. I just love how bizarre this controller is, and I wanted to go ahead and try to do a BLJ with it. So we've got just the regular D-pad for moving around. I've assigned B to jumping, and then we have the left shoulder button for crouching. So actually fairly similar to the uh, SNES controller that we did a little bit earlier. There we go. All right, the camera got really funky, but that's okay. All right, that's not fun though. All right. Oh, what is going on? Why can I not do this? Yes. Yes, there we go. Holy crap. That was really painful on my pinky because what I was basically doing was I was like pushing really hard, putting a lot of pressure right here on my pinky. And that, that just hurt. That really hurt a lot. But thank God we did that one. And here's one you might be familiar with. The Wii Wheel. That's right. I'm going to do it. I'm putting on the wrist strap. That's right, I'm a freaking rebel. So I decided to make it a little more spicy. We're gonna hook up a Wii wheel to the Wii remote. We have the D-pad for movement. You've got the back button for crouching, and then we have the two button for jumping. All right. Honestly, I don't think this will be that bad. I'm hoping it's not that bad. Look at that. First try, that's what I'm talking about. Like, you know, most of the Wii accessories are really crappy, but the Wii wheel is just such a I don't know, something about this gas button just feels really good. And up next is the N64 Hori Pad. Now I know what you might be thinking, isn't the Hori Pad kind of better than the N64 controller? Well, yes and no. I've been having some weird issues with my particular Hori Pad, where the D-pad is not super responsive. As you can see, Mario's kind of jumpy. Uh, the A button is also not consistent. I'll push and then sometimes uh, he won't do a full jump. Holy crap, this is bad. Why is it so bad? Okay, there we go. We got one lo one long jump, but then he it chose not to go... All right. Okay, there we go. That was really painful. So even though I only spent like maybe a minute or two doing that BLJ, this D-pad is extremely uncomfortable. Honestly, I'm kind of shocked I was even able, even able to do it because this thing is not very responsive at all. This next controller took so long to get set up that it is required to be as dramatic as possible. Once upon a time, it was May 25th, 2020. The story of this day is a crazy one as I tried to complete a Mario 64 BLJ with this microphone. Inspired by Doug Doug, I used a program called VoiceBot. This program allows you to make inputs on a controller by using your voice. With this, I was able to move Mario up, down, and long jump. The problem arise with mashing the A button. VoiceBot didn't have a way of doing that since voice commands only come through every second or so. So I went online to the dark realm that they call Reddit and found macros in C Sharp scripts that allow you to mash inputs in VoiceBot. So I implemented those scripts but had no success. After hours and hours of research and attempts and tinkering around, my path was fading. The light was dimming, my soul vanishing until my good friend Scott Lee came to the picture. He's a very talented programmer, so we got in a voice call and got to work. I explained the physics of BLJs, and he altered the macro's code piece by piece. We tried script after script, and got so technical that we needed to code together Mario's momentum perfectly. And after two hours of hard work and determination, this was as far as we got. Up. Stop. We did it! We did it! My friends, we must thank our brave comrade Scott Lee. For his great and noble work, make sure to check out the game he made Calling Kingdom. If you're into strategy games, this might be for you. And also, the code is on GitHub down below if you want to see exactly what we did. Up next, the DJ Hero Controller. 
So before getting into the controller, I want to talk about how much of a struggle it was to get the DJ Hero turntable to even work with Mario 64. So here I have the Wii version of a DJ Hero turntable because I knew that Dolphin, the emulator I've been using to play this, will run a DJ Hero turntable, and it does run the game. Here's the problem, it only runs DJ Hero. You actually are not able, as far as I'm aware, to be able to use the turntable to play other games beyond just DJ Hero. I even went into different settings, I went to forums, I did a lot of research, and I could not figure out a solution to this. So you know what I did? I got this adapter, and I plugged this adapter into the PC, and then, and then used this end and plugged that into here, and I thought, okay, maybe that'll work. And guess what? It didn't work. And you want to know why? Because I actually don't know. My guess is because I wasn't getting enough power to the turntable. So naturally, there was only one thing to do, and that was to buy another turntable. Now, this is the PS3 version, and this is wirelessly hooked up, and it actually works! So after all that explanation, here is how we're gonna do this. We have the green button mapped to A, uh, Z is to crouch, I have red mapped to punching for no reason. And then I have this tiny little D-pad for moving. Now, I did try to get this little slider to move for movement, but unfortunately I couldn't get it to work. Only the buttons work, but anyway, I think this is gonna be insanely hard. This is a really bad D-pad. Okay, that, that hurts. Oh my gosh, I keep like turning, I don't even know how I'm doing that. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, dude, get, get this, ah. Come on. Yes, there we go, okay. All right, that didn't take quite as long as I thought it would, but there you have it. There is the DJ Hero turntable. And finally, a Joy-Con. Now, before we try out this controller, I just wanted to say that I've been having a lot of technical difficulties with this video. I originally started this with wanting to try this with a Wii Balance Board. That chose to not connect to my computer. Then I switched to an HTC Vive controller. Then I tried the V-Motion controller that I used in my Shrek Games video, and none of that was working. I even tried the NES Power Pad, and that didn't work either. So I have now resorted to a single Joy-Con. So I've decided to make this as uncomfortable as possible by using one Joy-Con, and this is the one that I hate using more. And uh, the controls are pretty simple. We have the joystick for moving, of course, the X button mapped to jumping, and then I have SL mapped to crouching. So I wanted to make sure it was really uncomfortable. Let's do a little bit of a Naruto run for good luck. There we go. Hey, Naruto run. Let's go. You know what else is going to be really funny? <laughs> If by the time this video comes out, which is going to be sometime in June, I'm recording this in May, it's going to be hilarious if N64 Virtual Console releases, and then people are just like, wait a minute, I can already play this game on the Switch. What's the, what's the point of this? Come on. Oh, baby, let's go! That is what I'm talking about! I cannot believe how many times I have gone inside Wet Dry World for this video. Absolutely ridiculous, but there we go! And there you have it guys, 10 more controllers done, or 10 more attempts at controllers. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a third video for this because I'm honestly really running out of ideas. There were some controllers I tried to get to work like the Wii Balance Board and you know, weird things like that. And it, they just didn't wanna work with the programs that I was using. So I don't know if I'm gonna do a third one. This might be the last one, but we'll see how this video does. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And with all that said, I'll see you next time and stay safe.